Africa, perched atop a grand hill, is a treasure trove of astonishing and incredible discoveries that continue to astound scientists even today. These findings are so breathtaking that they would be hard to believe unless mentioned. In this video, we are about to unfold ten such discoveries in Africa that have left the world in awe. Number 10. The Enigmatic Alien Sky Blue Stones Picture this. Holding in your hand a stone believed to have celestial origins, this is the tale of peculiar blue stones that Italian geologist and archaeologist Angelo Pittoni acquired from a Fula chief in Sierra Leone, West Africa, in 1990. According to the local tribe, these stones were bestowed upon them by visitors from the cosmos. These mysterious stones were unlike anything Pittoni had ever encountered. Upon reaching Europe, Pittoni sent the stones to research laboratories for analysis. The results were staggering. The stones were distinctive and did not correlate with any known mineral. Despite exhaustive tests, the researchers were baffled by the unexplainable blue hue of the stones. Intriguingly, when a fragment of the stone was ground into fine particles and observed under a microscope, the blue color disappeared from sight. Neither extreme heat nor acid could modify or disintegrate the stones. Pittoni hypothesized that the blue stone bore resemblance to the pure turquoise adorning the chests of Egyptian priests and aptly named it the Stone of Heaven, signifying its divergence from any other known gemstone. This beguiling discovery poses myriad questions. Were these stones truly a celestial gift? Or do they conceal secrets of ancient civilizations, long lost in the sands of time? Number 9. Close your eyes and picture the Sahara Desert. The imagery likely to unfold before you is that of an endless sea of sand, the scorching sun raining overhead, and not a water source in sight. This mental image isn't far from reality. The Sahara is indeed a vast, mysterious expanse and the largest hot desert globally trailing only Antarctica and the Arctic in sheer size. Spanning a remarkable 9.2 million square kilometers, it is nearly equivalent to the land area of China. However, this barren landscape wasn't always synonymous with aridity and desolation. Surprisingly, approximately 11,000 years ago, the Sahara painted a drastically different picture, characterized by greenery, lakes, rivers, and grasslands. This verdant environment attracted a myriad of wildlife, including hippos, antelopes, and elephants, amongst others. This phenomenon, known as the Green Sahara, was attributed to the Earth's ever-changing axial rotation and orbital patterns, recurring every 23,000 years. These variations in the Earth's tilt alter the penetration of solar radiation through the Earth's atmosphere, Consequently, during the era of the Green Sahara, the tropics experienced enhanced solar radiation, and rains penetrated deep into what is now a barren desert. This climatic shift promoted the flourishing of diverse flora and fauna across the region. However, a shift occurred around 5,000 years ago, leading the Sahara back to its arid state, a transformation believed to be primarily geographical and largely unrelated to human activities. Despite the Sahara's current inhospitable state, there remains a glimmer of hope. Scientists speculate that in approximately 15,000 years, this vast desert could undergo yet another metamorphosis. Number 8. Child of Tong. In 1924, quarrymen in Tong, South Africa, made an astonishing discovery that would change the course of human history while working on limestone deposits on the Buxton Lime Works. They uncovered a small skull of a child. The skull was brought to the attention of Raymond Dart, an anatomist and anthropologist, who immediately recognized its significance. Dart theorized that the fossilized remains belonged to a hominin species, or early human ancestor that lived approximately 2.8 million years ago. Dart named the new species Australopithecus africanus, or southern ape of Africa at the time the Taung child was discovered. Most believed that early human ancestors originated in Europe, but the Taung child challenged this. 
theory, since it was the first early human fossil found in Africa, this provided clear evidence that Africa was the birthplace of humankind and supported the out of Africa. Theory This theory states that modern humans evolved in Africa before migrating to other parts of the world. Not only did the town child confirm this theory, but it also presented significant anatomical features. It had a brain size and teeth similar to those of apes, yet its skull and dental arch were similar to those of humans, representing an intermediate form between the two, between 1936 and 1947, several more. Australopithecus fossils were unearthed in South Africa, this time belonging to adult specimens. These discoveries lent further support to Dart's initial claim that the town child was indeed an early human ancestor. Today, the Tong child is revered as a vital piece of human history, and its discovery revolutionized the field of paleoanthropology, forever changing our understanding of where we came from and how we got here. Number 7. Situated southeast off the African coast, the picturesque island of Mauritius is a treasure trove of diverse flora and fauna, along with stunning coral reefs. One of its most enchanting natural spectacles is what appears to be an underwater waterfall. While seemingly unremarkable from the shore, a helicopter tour reveals a seemingly majestic waterfall under the waves, creating a breathtaking visual delight. However, this so-called waterfall is not what it seems. It's actually an optical illusion formed by the movement of sand and silt deposits sliding down the underwater slope and into the depths below. This movement mimics the appearance of a waterfall, as if the island is being gradually drawn into an enormous drain. Despite not being a genuine waterfall, this extraordinary phenomenon continues to mesmerize visitors, adding to the unique charm and natural beauty of Mauritius, a gem in the Indian Ocean. Number 6. In the picturesque lakeside village of Bazul in Burkina Faso, a remarkable coexistence unfolds between humans and crocodiles. Contrary to the general perception of crocodiles as menacing predators, in Bazul they are viewed with fondness and camaraderie. This harmonious relationship has historical roots, with legends dating back to the 15th century. During a severe drought, the village was in dire need of water. It's believed that guardian crocodiles emerged during this crisis, guiding the parched villagers to a concealed water source. Grateful for this act, the inhabitants of Bazul threw a feast in the crocodile's honor, cementing a bond that persists to this day. This exceptional relationship is commemorated annually in a grand ceremony called Lakra. Here, villagers present offerings, seeking blessings from the crocodiles for health, prosperity, and bountiful harvests. During the dry season, it's not uncommon for crocodiles to be seen resting within family compounds. In other seasons, they venture into the village, scouting secure locations to lay their eggs. The community safeguards these nests, ensuring the future generation of their reptilian friends. These crocodiles aren't just seen as mere animals in Bazool. They're considered embodiments of ancestral spirits. When a crocodile passes away, the villagers mourn their loss, offering funerary rites and burial in coffins akin to human practices. This deep-rooted respect and mutual existence is a testament to the unique bond that can form between humans and wildlife. Number 5. Voodoo, a widely practiced religion, traces its origins to the small West African country of Benin, recognized as the cradle of this faith. While voodoo has found its way across the globe, significantly through historical slave trades, it remains a pivotal aspect of life in Benin, where over 40% of the population embraces it as an official religion. The significance of voodoo in Benin is evident through the national celebration of Voodoo Day as a public holiday and the establishment of a dedicated national voodoo museum. Contrary to its oft-misunderstood reputation as a form of evil or black magic, voodoo for the people of Benin represents a holistic way of life, integrating aspects of culture, philosophy, language, 
art, dance, music, and medicine. The spiritual framework of voodoo encompasses a supreme being, Mawu, and approximately a hundred divinities, each symbolizing different elements such as war, illness, healing, earth, and storms, to name a few. Voodoo priests serve as intermediaries, invoking these deities to intervene for the common people. Utilizing herbs, they heal the sick and, in certain circumstances, may resort to harmful means against adversaries. Offerings like chickens, sheep, or alcohol are commonly made to the divinities, signaling either a plea for assistance or an expression of gratitude for fulfilled desires. People from various walks of life turn to voodoo priests for guidance and help on diverse matters, including healing ailments, securing employment, finalizing business transactions, finding life partners, and seeking fertility blessings. In essence, voodoo is not merely a religion, but a multifaceted way of life for many in Benin and other parts of West Africa. Number four, when we think of frogs, our minds often conjure images of small, solitary amphibians. However, the African Goliath frog, also known as the Konrawa Goliath, shatters this stereotype, standing as the largest frog globally. Native to the rainforests of Western Africa, this enormous amphibian can grow up to 12.5 inches in length and weigh a staggering 7.2 pounds, comparable to the size of some domestic cats. Inhabiting the regions near swift-moving rivers and waterfalls, Goliath frogs have adapted to a life closely intertwined with water. During the night, they perch on river rocks, foraging for a diverse diet that includes insects, crustaceans, fish, and other amphibians. Contrary to what one might expect, these colossal frogs are mute, lacking the vocal sac typically associated with the croaking sounds of frogs. This silence adds a layer of mystery to their already intriguing existence. The breeding habits of Goliath frogs set them apart from their amphibian counterparts. Males exhibit unique behavior by constructing nests using rocks and gravel near riverbanks. They engage in wrestling matches with rival males for the right to breed with females. This rigorous physical activity might explain why male goliath frogs are larger than females, a rarity in the frog world. Females lay thousands of eggs in the meticulously constructed nests, but interestingly, parental involvement ends there. The adult frogs do not wait for the eggs to hatch, leaving the offspring to fend for themselves from the beginning. Unfortunately, these fascinating creatures are facing the threat of extinction. Human activities such as farming, logging, and the expansion of settlements are steadily encroaching on their natural habitats. Moreover, they are hunted for their meat, adding another layer of risk to their survival. In conclusion, the African Goliath frog, a silent giant residing in the rainforests of western Africa, leads a life full of interesting contradictions and adaptations. However, the encroachment of human activities poses a significant threat to their existence, necessitating conservation efforts to ensure their survival. Number three, in the vast Namib desert of Namibia, a mystery has puzzled scientists for decades, the Namibian fairy circles. These circles, about 39 feet wide, are patches of barren earth surrounded by lush vegetation stretching across 1 the 100 miles of arid grasslands. Various theories suggest termites might cause them by eating grass roots, or that plants grow this way naturally. Some even think these circles could reveal how life survives in harsh environments. Visitors can explore these circles on foot or by air, marveling at their beauty and the mystery they hold. Whether created by nature or fairies, they remain a fascinating enigma. It's time for today's subscriber pick. The image shows mysterious, human-like figures lined up side by side, sparking curiosity about what they could be. Are they aliens from another planet, or just statues placed in the desert to deter people from the harsh environment? Do you know what they are or what they represent? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Number two. In 2016, a unique species of ant, the Dracula ant, 
was discovered in Madagascar's rainforests. It has the fastest predatory strike among animals, with mandibles that snap shut at 90 meters per second, enabling it to catch prey quickly. What makes the Dracula ant unusual is its feeding method. Instead of eating prey directly, worker ants puncture their own larvae to consume their hemolymph, insect blood, a behavior that inspired their name. Despite this, the larvae survive and develop normally. The Dracula ant's fast strike is due to its specialized mandibles and powerful muscles. Its complex colony structure and social behaviors are still being studied. This discovery enhances our understanding of ant diversity and the unique adaptations in Madagascar's isolated environment. Number 1. In northern Mozambique, at around 1,700 meters high, lies Mount Mabu, which hides a forest that was unknown to the world until the early 21st century. This untouched forest, surrounded by steep cliffs, remained preserved and hidden from human reach. Local people knew about the mountain, but the forest itself was a secret until 2005. British biologist Dr. Julian Bayliss discovered it while studying satellite images for unexplored areas. The world learned about this discovery in 2008 when Bayliss and his team explored the forest. The forest's untouched state, with no signs of human activity, makes it home to many unique plants and animals. This pristine ecosystem offers valuable insights into biodiversity and ecosystems unaffected by humans. Discovering this hidden forest is truly amazing, proving there are still many secrets in nature waiting to be found. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.